We're talking about manipulating and working with text in R using the string R package. Uh, the string R package is part of the Tidyverse packages, so you've got that on your computer. Also the data set that we're using, Star Wars, you've got it on your computer. You can replicate everything I'm doing at home. Let me show you what it is that we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna take, and I absolutely, I absolutely love this because we're gonna look at two functions. We're gonna look at using uh, string locate and string sub, which is taking a subsection of a particular bit of text together, right? Uh, it's a little bit complicated, but you're gonna see, I'm gonna make this simple and you're absolutely gonna love it. We're gonna take the Star Wars data set right here. We're gonna take the list of names and can you see on the table below me over here, we've taken Luke Skywalker and we've extracted out just the Luke and we've made another variable called first name. What's tricky about this, and this is why we need to use the locate function is, the length of the first name differs. So Luke is four letters, Darth for Darth Vader is five letters. And so when we use the string sub function, we have to define the beginning and the end of the text that we wanted to extract out. That end bit needs to be different every time. And that's why we use the string locate function. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. My name is Greg Martin. Stick with me. You're going to love this boom shakalaka. On this YouTube channel, we're creating our programming videos on everything. Okay, as always, we load the Tidyverse set of packages. String R is one of those. I'm also loading GT Extras just because it helps us make nice and beautiful tables like the one that you see on the screen at the moment. We're not gonna get into the code around GT Extras, but you might learn a little bit about it. Okay, I'm first gonna show you how string locate works. So this is part of the string R package. It's one of the functions that comes with it. And if we run this code over here, Star Wars, pipe it into pull name, what am I doing there? Okay, the function pull will extract out from the variable name and create a vector just with the observations and the text from that particular variable, right? Uh, it's very similar to select, but this creates an actual vector because string locate wants a vector to be piped into it. Okay, so don't worry, as we work with the data sets, that's not gonna really matter. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to illustrate how it is that the string locate function works. After that, you don't need to worry about this pull stuff. Okay, so we're piping that into string locate and we're saying, please locate any gap. So inverted commas, space, inverted commas, we're looking for a space. So between the word Luke and Skywalker, there's a space. We're asking string R using the string locate function to find that space, to find the position of that space, the beginning and the end. Now, all of the spaces between the names is all just one space. So the beginning and the end is gonna be the same position, but that's fine. And then I've said view, and if we run that, we're gonna have a look at what that looks like. And here you see this, it creates a matrix. And we've got the start and end point of everything that I was looking for, in this case, the space. And you can see for Luke Skywalker with the first observation, the space starts and ends at position number five. Now, think about what we wanna do here. Look at the table down below me at the moment. We've identified that for Luke Skywalker, the space is in position number five in this matrix. So the first row of the matrix is gonna identify that the space is in position number five. What we really want is to use position number four, so the position of the space minus one, to tell string sub where to stop extracting from. So we're gonna tell string sub, that function is gonna say, I'm gonna extract out the letters from the string, starting at position one, and going up until one less than the place where you found the space. Got it? Okay, and then and if it does that, it'll pull out just the word Luke. Uh, so happy days. Um, let's look at the code to do that. And keep in mind what I've just shown you because it's going to make sense. You kind of need to know that to make sense of what we're going to do here. Right, so we're starting off with Star Wars, piping it into, you know, we're filtering out just the humans because I just want human names just to keep things simple. Mutate, we're creating a variable called first name. I've used these little ticks over here so that I don't have to have an underscore there so that it makes a nice heading because we're creating a nice table equals now here's the when i've got another video on string sub so we've talked about it but i'll just remind you string sub uh str sub has got three arguments firstly what variable are you looking at so we've put a name secondly what is the start point that it needs to subdivide the string by so it starts at position number one and then this is where things are tricky the, the end point that it needs to extract from we've now used the string locate function to identify that end point. So let's have a look at that. String locate, name, that's the variable. It's looking for the space, happy days. And then remember when you've got a matrix, you can identify in a matrix, uh, a position in the matrix using these square brackets. So the first part of the square bracket is 
uh, the row that you're going to use. We're leaving that blank because we want this to apply to all of the rows. The second is which column to look at. And so we always want to look at the first column. And then we want to subtract one. Remember, we want to go one back to get the end of the, you know, the last position of the first name. And then we're piping that into just select name and first name. So we've got a table with just those two variables. Everything else here is neatening up that table with GT extras. We're adding in a table header, column aligned to the left. Uh, I like the theme 538. And if we run that, of course, it's producing the table that you can see on the left over there. Okay, I hope you found this useful. There's gonna be a link on the screen at the moment to watch the next video in this series. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, share, etc., etc. Don't have a change, don't do drugs, always do your best. Boom shakalaka, speak to you soon, bye.